the new world of work, fueled by rapid technology enhancements, is transforming organizations around the globe. In the digital workplace, the rules of the game have changed, allowing you to get your job done from anywhere. My name is Ulrika Hedlund. I'm passionate about technology and the impact it can have on our lives. In this video series, I'll share my expertise to help you succeed in the digital world. In my coaching sessions, I often get asked, what are your key tips for task management? How do you keep track of all the things you need to do? Like always, it's a combination of having a good system in place and sticking to it and leveraging technology. In this episode of Succeed in the Digital Workplace, I'll give you five tips for how to improve your task management. So let's start with tip number one. Embrace to do and planner. Most of us have some system in place for keeping track of our to do's. It might be as simple as writing it down on post it notes or on memos on your phone. Some might be using tasks in Outlook. I warmly recommend that you modernize and that you use a modern technology to keep track of your to do's. Personally, I use Microsoft To Do. Microsoft To Do is a free app from Microsoft and anyone can use it as long as you have a Microsoft account. I also use Planner. I use Planner for our group related tasks. Planner is part of the Microsoft 365 subscription. So for that, you need to have a license. Both of these apps work independently, but you can also link them together, which I'll show you soon. But first, Tip number two, make sure you can access to do and planner from anywhere. In order to be effective using these tools and to really sticking to it, you need to be able to access them from anywhere on your mobile, when you're out and about on your computer, when you're working and also from any browser. Both to do and planner are available as mobile apps for both iOS and Android. They're also available as web apps. You can access them in a number of different ways. To access Todo, you can go to todo.microsoft.com or you can log into office.com with your Microsoft account and you'll find it there. To access Planner, since this is related to your work, you log into office.com with your work account. Todo is also available as a Windows app from the Microsoft Store and for Mac OS users. I warmly recommend that you download to do on your computer. This interface is so much richer and it gives you a better experience. If you use Microsoft Teams, these apps are also available there. In Teams, to do and planner are combined into an app called tasks. I know it's super confusing. Don't even get me started on Microsoft naming conventions. <laughs> Tip number three, decide on which accounts to use for to do. Normally, I would advise that you use your personal account for everything that has to do with your personal life and that you use a work account for everything that's work related. You can do the same with to do. So you could use an account like outlook.com or live.com for all of your family grocery lists or all of the things that you want to assign to your spouse. And then you could switch accounts and you use your work account for everything that's work related. This sounds really good in theory, but in practice, I just can't get it to work because it's too time consuming to switch between the various accounts. So personally, I use my work account for all of my to-dos, personal as well as work-related. If you do the same, just be aware that if your employer shuts down your account, you won't have access to any of your to-do lists. Also, if you wanna assign a task to someone outside of your organization, say your spouse, you cannot do this with a work account. That has to be a personal account. Tip number four, 
set up a system for tracking tasks. To do is a really smart and simple application. I love it. With to do, you can see your various tasks in different views. You can also create your own lists. I have lists for admin tasks, tasks for my professional development, things related to the family and so on. At the very top, you have a view called my day. In my opinion, this is the best part of to do. Every day, you start fresh and can plan your day. You can add tasks directly to this view, or you can click the little light bulb and pick from existing tasks in your various task lists. Whatever you don't finish during the day will just stay in the task list. If you haven't added something to a custom list you've created, it just ends up in the generic tasks list. You can put more details to a task, such as steps, reminders, and due dates. You can also make them recurring. So for instance, I put certain bill payments in as recurring so that I can check them off every month. Planner is a little bit different. To get started with Planner, go to office.com and open Planner. Here, you can create a new plan. Give your plan a name. And if you already have a group of people you work with in Teams or in SharePoint, you can link the plan to that existing group of people. Or you can create a new plan and invite a new set of people. In Planner, you group your tasks into so-called buckets. The default bucket is called to-do. I always rename it because it's so silly to have a bucket called to-dos because they're all to-dos, right? You can think of buckets as different categories or different lists for your tasks. To add a new task, just add it to the desired bucket. Open the task to add more details. We typically use checklists to add more steps to a specific task. Assign the task to someone in the team, and if you have a specific due date, add that as well. You can also add your own custom labels. These are great for adding an extra dimension to your tasks. You might want to link them to strategic quarterly initiatives. You can then group your tasks by label and easily move them around. What we typically do in our various teams is to use the labels for a more flexible time dimension. So here we have labels for as soon as possible, this week, within one to two weeks, and so on. With Planner, you get a more visual overview of all of your tasks. and. If you've added a due date, you can also see them in a schedule view. If you're a lot of people using the same plan and you have a lot of activities, it can sometimes be quite tricky to find a specific task. To do that, you can just use the filter and just type in what you're searching for. Set up a system that works for you and your team. If you want to see all of the tasks that you have assigned to you in Planner, you can also see them in To Do. Make sure to go to the settings in To Do and enable the planner integration. This way, you can easily see and mark all of the various tasks that you have assigned to you in Planner right from within To Do. Again, if you're using Microsoft Teams, you can add the Tasks app to any tab. Just add the Tasks app and you can reach it directly from the channel. You can also add it as a tab in your left-hand navigation. Here you can see all your tasks in one place, from the To-Do app, as well as all the various plans in Planner. And finally, tip number five, be disciplined and stick to it. Now that you have these modern apps to help you, you have a system in place, all you have to do is be disciplined and stick to it. I recommend that you start a new routine where you every morning open the My Day in To Do and plan your activities. If you forget one day, okay, just go again the following day. Also, be consistent with your team. 
Encourage everyone to always add tasks to Planner and use it as a visual tool in your weekly planning. I know that it's a bit time consuming to put tasks into Planner. I wish it was so much easier to just copy paste and to put rich images into Planner. Hopefully it's coming. But with that said, it's also really important to create transparency and accountability using a tool that everyone has insights to. So even if you were to lose momentum, don't give up, just start again. If you wanna get more productivity coaching from me or one of our amazing productivity coaches, don't hesitate to reach out. We are here to help you succeed in the digital workplace. Bye.